Hello everyone and welcome to similar content. Today we will be talking about the topic difficulty, which is the first option and the most important tool also in similar content. Within topic difficulty, you will be having the benefit of knowing the difficulty percentage or you will be having an overview regarding the topic difficulty percentage before you even write about it. So you will be able to know, am I going to be able to get high rank on it? I mean, it's easy to do so, or it needs a high effort and a high backlinks in order to have the priority to rank in Google. So it gives you the opportunity in order not to waste your time to have an overview regarding the topic. So we do have here the search bar. And within the search bar, you have here 50 languages. And we do work actually to add more. And let's choose, for example, here the English. And here we have here the targeted country. So let's choose here, for example, United Kingdom. And we have here the RTL. That means if you are searching about Arabic or Hebrew, that means you need to write from the right side. So you will be activating this choice. So let's click it off because we do search in English. And let's search about CU agency and press research. Once you press research, then we will be having the topic difficulty analysis according to the country and language you did choose. Topic difficulty here choose that's hard, it's 58.5. That means you need a high effort to be having a good rank or a high rank in Google. And you need also to use a high quality backlinks. So you need to be having a lot of effort in order to be having the priority to get high rank in such topic, which is CU agency according to the country and the language you did choose in. So we have here, for example, on the right side, the best 10 website that got high rank in Google, like WebFX, which got like 63 in content analysis score. And we have here Moz also, which got like 80 in content analysis score. And we do have here below some, you know, the title optimization words that you should include in your title in order to be having the priority to get high rank in Google as well. Like, for example, starting from one word and it starts from the high till the low and starts also till five words together. And these also should be included in your meta description or your content from one word like two the fifth word together, those words should be included in your article in order to be having also the priority according to Google Analysis. And here we have here the content score for each and every website that got a high rank in Google of the first 10 websites that, ha that has the high rank in Google. And then it shows for me here that this website has got like, for example, in Webfax got 65 and it got like this is how many shares in facebook and it shows for me here if i pressed here i'll be getting more details regarding the content score i'll be getting more details regarding how many good words did they use and the low uh, that means they use it rarely extremely used the the overreacted using it and we have the not found the words that that's not mentioned this is a percentage for these words and also this sign means this uh, the title word or the title keyword was mentioned in the URL, was mentioned in the title, in the desk, but this sign means it's not mentioned there. So we do have here also the synonyms. Synonyms means I'm searching about CU agency. So Google will understand some similar, the similarity of words that has the same meaning or the same thing as the title word I'm searching about. It gives me here actually the same words actually I used according to how Google can understand, according also to the language and the country we did choose. So for example, let's choose another country and another language. Oh, let's go for uh, French. French will be good. And also, Let's choose here France. That that is a different analysis. That is a different result. It shows here for me that here it's moderate according to 
French and and the country France it shows me for me here also that it's moderate that means it's medium it does not need that high effort to get high rank on it and it shows for me also the 10 website that got a high rank according to the country and the language we did choose and the topic difficulty percentage which is 48.7 which is less than the first one we did research about in English and in United Kingdom and here we have the, the best 10 websites that got a high rank in Google and we have here also the synonym words that has the same meaning according to Google how can I understand them according to the uh, or the same meaning that that synonym to the title keyword we search about so let's for example search about another uh, title or another topic link building and then press uh, research and actually we did it choose that we didn't change the language yet or the country yet it's just friends so it shows for me here also that's hard and it the topic difficulty it's 71 that means it 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 needs a high effort in order to be having the ability to hire right to get high ranking Google let me change the country to English and for example let's make it United States and then press research it shows for me here that I need to make an update that means if you got this uh, sign that means you didn't update the the topic or in order to be having an up-to-date updates of the analysis the online analysis that means you didn't update like I didn't update like since for 74 days that means I need to click an update in order to have an up-to-date analysis or result since I did the search of the, at the first time about this title or about this topic, which is link building. Right now, you do have like an overview regarding the topic difficulty, how it's going to be helpful and how to use it. Actually, we are done today. I can't wait to see you next video. Bye bye.